how to create different colors on a single page in Word. With the aid of the run command, let's create four paragraphs and eight lines to work with. Once our content has been generated, let's give the first paragraph a heading. Educational resources. Highlight the heading and press Ctrl E on your keyboard to center it. Select the entire first paragraph and press Ctrl J on your keyboard to justify the content. Let's type public schools for the heading. Select the entire second paragraph and press Ctrl J on your keyboard to justify the content. On the page layout tab, click the column command. From the drop down list, select two columns. You then type private schools in the column on your right hand side as heading. Select the entire second paragraph on your page layout tab. Click the column command. From the drop down list, select small columns. When the column dialog box appears, select line between to add line between the column. You then apply this to the selected text or the entire document. Let's leave it on selected text and click OK. On the third paragraph, let's type how to disperse the resources as heading. Highlight the heading and press Ctrl E on your keyboard to center it. Let's type primary schools for the heading. Select the entire fourth paragraph and press Ctrl J to justify the content. On the page layout tab, click the column command. Select three columns. You now type junior high schools as heading for the second column on your right hand side. In the third column on your right hand side, let's finally type senior high schools for the heading. Select the entire fourth paragraph. On the page layout tab, click the column command. Select more column. When the column dialog box appears, select line between to add a line between the columns and click OK. Let's broaden our heading to introduce some contrast between the headings and the content. Select the heading and click the letter B. You can also achieve the same results by pressing Ctrl B on your keyboard. Subscribe, share, like, and comment. Let's fix any flaws in the document to make the document look clean and presentable. We forgot to justify the third paragraph, so let's quickly do that by selecting the entire third paragraph and pressing Ctrl J on the keyboard to justify the content. You can leave your comments and suggestions in the description box. If you haven't subscribed yet, then click the subscribe button and select the notification bell so that you don't miss any important topic.